Hello my darlings and welcome to a brand new video. We are sat down, we are relaxing today because this is going to be a chatty video, something a little bit different for a Sunday but it's something that I really hope you guys are going to enjoy. And the topic of today's video is 10 ways to glow up your life. Now I'm not talking about the skincare glow, I'm not talking about glowing up your wardrobe. This is, this is actually a topic that I've never really discussed in too much detail before. But yeah, literally glowing up your life, a few little things that you can do to help you feel as though your life is moving in the direction that you want it to move in, perhaps in a post pandemic world helping you to live the life that you want and these are 10 really practical tips I do all 10 of these things and I really hope that you might find this useful even if you change one tiny little thing I think you'll really notice a difference darlings if you are new to the channel then please do consider hitting that subscribe button I usually post two vlog videos and one fashion video or in this case miscellaneous video every single Sunday and I would love to have you back for more. So without further ado, let's get started with tip number one. Tip number one is to design your dream life. Now I know what you're thinking, yeah Josie, duh, but how do we do that? And I'm going straight in at the deep end with this one. Tip number one, design your dream life. Of course, I'm talking about manifesting. Manifesting is so, so powerful. It's something that I talk about all the time here on my YouTube channel with friends and family and truly it is so so powerful and once you start believing in it once you start practicing it you will see it working instantly so what is manifesting well I've been practicing manifesting for I would say about five years now I have manifested my dream career being my own boss I have manifested this very house my dream house in our dream location and also so so many smaller things along the way chances are if you watch my vlogs you'll have heard me talking about manifesting quite a lot so in this instance manifesting is visualizing your dream life Life and then making that visualization a reality. It's the law of attraction, so for the big picture, it's important that you physically design your dream house right down to the tiny little details and have no doubt in your mind that that is going to become a reality. Without even knowing it, I have been designing my dream life since I was about seven years old without even knowing it. I had a kind of deep down belief that my life would look a certain way, I would live in a lovely house in the Cotswolds, have a handsome husband, a job that I love doing, an exceptional wardrobe and I just had a deep down belief that that would be my life. I didn't know how I would get there but I had an unwavering confidence that that's what my life would be like and I would design it right down to the details. And this confidence that that would be my future life gave me motivation and the motivation to work hard, to work my butt off at school for my A-levels, to really do everything in my power to get my foot in the door in the fashion industry, put my everything into my exams and eventually all of these things fell into place and it opened the doors to enable me to live my dream life. The life that I dreamt of and knew that I would have as a child. So what do you need to do to design your dream? life. Well first of all you have to physically imagine it. Write down as I said to the little details. What will your front door look like? How many sausage dogs will you have? And what will their Instagram handle be? It's all down to these tiny little details that enable you to have confidence in your vision that will enable it to become a reality. These little details are really important because they deepen your belief in this visualization and help to make it possible. I have mentioned in vlogs how I've used manifestation for massive career, career milestones I'll actually leave the vlog linked up on the screen here and down below where I spoke about how I visualized and manifested this house. It's all about being precise with your visualization when it comes to designing your dream life. If I've still not been clear, I will also leave a few links down below on where you can learn more about manifestation. As I said, I tell all my friends about it and once they start using it, they cannot believe how well it works. So it's something that I would honestly tell all of you to really look into and really think throw yourself at it and believe that the law of attraction works because trust me, it really does. 
At this point, I would like to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is BetterHelp. Perhaps there's something interfering with your happiness or getting in the way of you achieving your goals. Well, BetterHelp will enable you to assess your needs via an online questionnaire and they will connect you with an online professional therapist who will connect with you within 48 hours. You can then chat with them online via video chats, via phone call or via messenger. And it's not a crisis line or self-help, but it is professional counselling done securely and more effectively affordably online. They have got an absolutely ginormous range of expertise with over 15,000 therapists which enables you to really connect with someone with a speciality in an area of expertise that works for you as opposed to the more limiting factors of perhaps a more local therapist and the service because it's available online it's available worldwide whenever you need it you can just dial in to your account at any time and send a message to your counselor so what I've done is set up a weekly meeting with my counselor but what I also love about better help is that you can join in group sessions there's one that I joined actually just this morning and it was about managing wellness and stress and anxiety in a post pandemic world. So it covered five key areas for managing stress in your day to day life, following the upticks in stress that we we're all experiencing following the pandemic. That's a nice way to ease yourself in, but a good kind of entry point into better help. But of course, it's a lot more affordable than traditional offline therapy, a really great way of trying something. If you've never invested in yourself in this way, you can change your counselor really easily if needed. And for me, I've never been to an IRL therapy session and before but um, just the whole awkwardness of sitting around in a changing changing room waiting room kind of put me off a little bit you don't have any of that with this we are also used to things like zoom and digital consultations these days it just feels like a natural way of trying this out so in my opinion a really great way of investing in yourself and a great way of trying out professional counseling professional therapy if it is something that you think you could benefit from and honestly we spend so much money on our skincare on our hair do we spend enough money on our minds it's something that i've really been thinking about a lot lately so i do of course have a special link for you guys which i'll leave in the description box it's better help help dot com forward slash fashion mumbler and you'll be able to get 10% off your first month if you use my link and join over a million people who are using better help to take charge of their mental health and seek expert counseling and expert therapists so yes I'll leave the link in the description box down below and that leads quite nicely on to my second point for designing your dream life perhaps you could speak to someone about positive thinking changing any negative mindsets because my second point for giving yourself a life glow up is eliminating your limiting beliefs. We all tend to have a bit of a tendency to sabotage our own thoughts. If we see someone doing something amazing, how often have you thought, ah, oh, she looks so good doing that, or it's so amazing that she's had that opportunity. I will never get an opportunity like that. Or wow, look at him doing that amazing thing. That will never be me. Those thoughts right there are kind of the opposite of manifesting. Those thoughts right there are limiting you and stopping you from being able to do those things. Instead, try practicing shifting your mindset. Say, say to yourself instead, wow, she's doing that amazing thing. If she can do it, I can do it. One day that will be me. This confidence and belief in your abilities will give you the motivation and the confidence to actually get yourself there. I have to say this hugely applies with money as well. Try to retrain your mindset and never go out shopping thinking, oh my gosh, I can't afford that. Try to catch those mindsets because those negative sentences you're saying to yourself are actually blocking the money from coming in and enabling you to afford that thing. Whereas on the flip side, a positive mindset, I will be able to afford that or I can afford that. You have a positive mindset allowing movement and allowing growth for that money to flow in. No matter what way, it will find a way of flowing into your life with abundance if you just change that mindset. Number three, the third way to glow up your life is to invest in yourself. Again, this kind of links back to better help investing in your mind. There is no point being the most well-dressed, beautiful person if up in here, you are a total mess because that is gonna shine through, but as well as investing in your mind, yes, invest in that haircut, invest in that great new skincare, things which are gonna make you feel as though you've invested money, yes, but time in yourself, investing and knowing that you are worthy 
of that investment. I feel like I sound like a motivational preacher right now, but it might be investing in education, it might be investing in Invisalign or a lash lift, something that is gonna enable you to grow, something that's gonna make you feel good and make you feel worthy of that time and money investment. Fourth way to glow up your life, never stop learning. Be an open book, be a sponge to knowledge. It could be new music, it could be a new podcast, it could be a new book. Try to increase your understanding of others, increase your perspective on the world, and learn about other people's viewpoints. It'll enable you to be more compassionate and be a more interesting person. Personally, I love to listen to podcasts. One of my favorites are the Sheer Lux podcasts, because yes, you're half the time it's just girls having a little bit of a chit chat, but sometimes they find a really interesting person. The most recent one that I listened to was the youngest woman ever to climb Mount Everest, something that I knew absolutely nothing about but I just love absorbing all of this information stuff that I had no idea about before. I think it's good for the mind and good for the soul to never stop learning and there are so many different ways you can do that. Alrighty, number five is to have a daily routine. When you look at some of the most successful people in the world, they all have a daily routine, just a little bit of structure, possibly in the mornings that really get the day off to a great start. And that's something that we can all implement. It doesn't have to be one of these full on 20 minute morning routines that you see perfectly edited here on YouTube. It can be something as simple as making the same breakfast every morning or having your coffee or your workout at the same time every single morning. Think about the most successful people you know in life. Some of them will wear the same outfit every day or take the same route to work every day, but it's that form of control and I guess consistency when you start your day that really enables you to focus your energy elsewhere and be more productive with your day. If you're looking for something to add into your routine, I cannot stress highly enough how important it is for your environment and your mind to make your bed every single morning. It's such, it's such a small thing, but it's a sense of accomplishment straight away. As soon as you kickstart your day, get up and make your bed. You'll have ticked something off your list. You'll have done something productive before you've even been awake for one minute in the morning and it sets your day off to the most amazing and productive start. My sixth way to glow up your life is to organize your finances. Now I'm not talking about, well, Yes, the big things as well, but I'm talking about those little things. During lockdown, did you sign up to a magazine subscription that you no longer are looking at? Did you watch a TV channel subscription on your commute and perhaps you're no longer doing that commute? Did you move house during lockdown and are you still paying for your old gym membership or class pass membership? Have a little look through your finances and spend a bit of time organizing them. Of course, it has a financial benefit in the long run, but it'll also make you feel a lot more in control of your life. My seventh tip is to cleanse your environment. Like I mentioned with making your bed in the morning, it gives you a better sense of well-being when your surroundings are nice and tidy. I feel like I can never fully relax when this room, my dressing room, is looking a little bit messy, but I know that I also feel the same way. If the car is messy or if there is a load of rubbish at the bottom of my handbag, cleansing your space actually does a lot of mental organizing for you as well. So clear the clutter, clear out the receipts, get rid of any old shopping bags or empty coffee cups from your car. Stay on top of these things, do them regularly, and it will have a lot of benefits for your mind as well as your environment. Kind of linking on from that, my tip number eight is to change up your space. We've all spent a lot more time than usual at home over the last couple of years, and it can start to feel a little bit stagnant. <laughs> so reorganize your furniture, you could swap a lamp, change your curtains, swap around some cushions, even just change your candle in your bedroom or in your living room because that will give us a whole fresh feeling because refreshing your space really helps to shift up the energy. Something that I really like to do also is a deep clean at least once every season and I use this as my opportunity to shift up my space and I find it so therapeutic and just brings a new lease of life into my environment. Number nine, something that I have been practicing a lot of this year to really glow up your life is to spend more time outdoors. Hopefully we all have during this last year spent a lot more time outdoors, whether that's walking, taking up a new exercise hobby, badminton, golf, croquet, <laughs> tennis, or gardening, which is what I personally have been doing. Our bodies crave vitamin D. We literally need it to give us energy, to give us life. So spending time outside literally recharges our batteries. So make sure you're doing enough of that, enable yourself enough time. You could blend a few of these tips, take a long walk, listen to a podcast, learn something, absorb that vitamin D and you'll feel so much better for it. 
And my 10th tip is very appropriate for the main bulk of the content here on my channel and it is to wear what makes you feel good. Now I did say that these 10 tips were not going to be about physical appearance but actually when you wear something that makes you feel confident it shows. You walk differently, you hold yourself differently, you're more confident with the conversations that you're having with people because you're not secretly thinking oh my gosh is this top not flattering or am I showing a little bit too much. When you feel good, when you feel confident with your appearance it really does have a bit of a knock-on effect with how you hold yourself and how you present yourself to the world and how you feel it affects your confidence so never underestimate the power of a good outfit I feel like there is an Elle Woods quote in there somewhere some people turn their nose up at you know the power of wearing a pretty dress or something that makes you feel good but I notice such a difference in how I behave and how I feel when I wear an outfit that I feel confident in so have a selection of outfits you wear on rotation on those days when you just want to feel good. It's one of the easiest ways that you can glow up your life. So darlings, I hope you found this useful. I hope you found it interesting. A couple of little tips in here that you will do or practice moving forward. Number one is still the biggest one for me, manifesting your dream life. If you would like me to chat more about manifestation, then please let me know. I'd love to know if you practice it. What have you manifested or what will you manifest? What is coming into your life that you are using the law of attraction to bring into your life at the moment let me know in the comment section down below and if you are looking to get a little bit of help whether it is with confidence or managing anxiety in a post-covid world or perhaps you want to join in some group sessions you're not quite ready for full-on therapy i would highly recommend better help the class that i did this morning made me feel so good so many practical tips so yeah better help dot com forward slash fashion mumbler. I will leave my link for better help in the description box down below darlings. I hope you find it useful and that's all from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon in the next one. Bye.